about the town hall meeting with uh, Donald Trump and how he had this very sycophantic audience. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was my one caveat, because I believe, as most people here, that let him let him go on. He's the front runner of the problem. Let the American people see what he's really like. But Sonny disagreed 100% with all of that, and she still does, I think. I disagreed yesterday, yeah. the day before, and I disagree with all of you right now. Um, <laughs> you know, I think that you don't give a bigot and a racist and a misogynist and a liar and a cheater and a sexual abuser and a, a defamer, a platform of three million people. And I'm saddened, uh, I used to work for CNN for quite some time. Anderson Cooper has been my friend for over 20 years. And I'm saddened that he tried to gaslight me yesterday by saying that people are in silos. People aren't living in a silo. They are choosing to listen to the lies or not. 46.9% of people voted for Trump in 2020, but he lost the popular vote by over 7 million people. We know who this man is. We learned who this man is, and we did not need to see what we saw. I think that that town hall will be studied in journalism schools around the country as to what not to do. It was not fact-checked appropriately. I don't believe she tried. again. She tried, yeah, the, the girl she tried. Let's give her some good credit enough here. in that you can't type keep of up situation. With lines can I, in can a I just not be interrupted for a second? Um, she didn't have the range. <laughs> He agreed to the interview because he knew he could steamroll her. That's not fair. Jake Tapper would have, done it anyway. would have done a better job. And I will tell you that, remember, Trump walked out of a 60 Minutes interview with Leslie Stahl because she was fact-checking him in real time every single time. It's time for some real introspection at CNN because I often thought, like just Judge uh, Brandeis, the Supreme Court Justice actually Brandeis, that sunlight is said to be the best of disinfectants. Right. <clears throat> this time, but that's what this that is. is. No, CNN went with Les Moonves. This was a business decision. Oh. Les Moonves said this was awful for the country, but it was good for CBS. This was CNN. awful for the country. CBS it was awful for the country. But congratulations, CNN, for making a little bit of money on the backs of our democracy. Respectfully.